This guy owned the cops like a professional. First Amendment. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight to it. Don't need any explanation. One Whoa. basic thing to remember is you cannot trespass the eyes. You know what that means? Whatever I can see from a public easement, I can film. Sorry you're upset about it. Sorry you don't know what the law is, but... Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mr. 5 channel. In today's video, we'll look at an interesting situation where a driver is pulled over by the police multiple times without a clear reason and feels their rights are being violated. He requests a legal reason and a supervisor, while also expressing dissatisfaction with the police behavior. If you feel your rights are being violated, you can also request a supervisor's presence. This helps protect your rights and ensures everything is handled correctly. Check the video description for links to related creative channels, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content. If you enjoyed this video, leave a 5 in the comments. Fort Smith, again. I've done nothing. We pulled over to check the uh, the fuel how it's going, and he turned his lights on. So let's figure out what's going on. Hello. Hey. I keep seeing you pull over. Uh, that's none of your business. Is that illegal? I keep seeing you around buildings. Yeah. Is it's illegal to be around buildings? I keep seeing you drive around closed buildings. Is it illegal to be around buildings? Are you loitering? What are you doing, Baron? I want to know what you're Did doing. Did you just see what I was doing? Here. I don't answer questions, man. Now, are you arrested? Is there a reason you pulled me over? Yeah, you're being suspicious, that's why. That's that, was that a felony or, or, a, or a misdemeanor? In the first clip, Mr. Ashlock is in an Applebee's parking lot when he notices a police car approaching and feels uncomfortable. While his car is broken down, he tries to repair and adjust it while guiding his daughter. However, when he turns back, Fort Smith police have stopped him. It's neither. So if you don't have a reason to pull me over, sir, man, am I on my over. way? Am I being detained? Yeah. That's for what? Questions. For what law? Why are you driving around those buildings like for that? For what law am I being detained? I need your supervisor. Again. Guys, call 911 if he gets erratic. I need your supervisor down here now. That's fine. Probably like you. Fort Smith's finest. Just think they can make up their own laws. They can't. We're the people. Kill my car. This guy ain't gonna waste my gas. Here he is. No reason to pull me over. And here he is. Wait, what's your name and uh, badge number? Cassidy 4428. Cassidy 4. Are you a rookie, Cassidy? Nope. Okay. Cassidy 4428. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get, you're gonna lot out trouble for yourself, buddy. That's fine. That's fine. Picture this. You're sitting at home alone watching YouTube videos, wondering why you can't find the motivation to do the things you. Fine. You're hindering my day. Supervisor. It's outrageous, man. These guys think they, 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 they think that they make the laws. They, they think they can do anything they want. They cannot do this. I'm doing nothing illegal. And he knows it. It's my constitutional right to not have this happen to me. And I'm going to pursue charges against this man and against the Fort Smith Police Department. Third time this week. Idiots. <laughs> What was the law? What, what are you pulling me over again for, sir? For suspicion? Is that correct? Keep driving on closed businesses. Doesn't, is that illegal? They're all closed. Don't is that illegal? Mm. Is that illegal? Mm, 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 mm. There's no answer because it is not illegal. It's, it's a violation of my constitutional rights right. right here. You're witnessing it, guys. Go live on YouTube. Or go give me your phone, too. Make sure just get video ready. Now he's walking away from me. I'm sick of this. I am sick of this. Forceman PD, they, they, they're doing, making their own crap up. Now here we are, stuck here, while he's shining his light in my... Sir, can I help you look for something? What are you doing? Don't worry about it. I'm worried about it because I'm worried why you got us pulled over. I'm afraid. I'm in fear. Uh, of course you are. I'm in fear of my, of my life and my children in the car. This rogue cop here trying to make his own rules up. No reason. This is unjustified. You're pulling me over for no reason. It's a violation of my constitutional rights. You want to sit on the way. Be quiet. Uh, you, you, can't, I, you can't tell me to be quiet. You be quiet. 
Go sit in your car. You can't bark commands at me. I'm not a dog. I'm a gosh damn human. This dude's an idiot. Five police. I've done nothing. I stand up for my rights, and here they come. I got the whole freaking patrol squad down here. One, two, three, four, five police vehicles. How bored are they? Really bored. To have this much time. How's it going? Not very well. Why is that? Are you the supervisor? Yes, sir. My name is Lieutenant Young. All right, Lieutenant what? Young. Young? Okay. Uh, please not with a flashlight. My, my child's in here. Uh, I'm going to have a flashlight on so I can see inside the vehicle. All right, you don't need to see inside my vehicle. I've done nothing wrong. Look. Most of the time I do. So, uh, okay, who's your boss, man? The, the chief of police. Who, Danny Baker? Yeah. All right, I want to talk with Danny Baker. Is he available? No. Okay, why am I being harassed? I, How come I get pulled over twice a week for nothing? I don't have an answer it for that. Is, he said, what's he say he pulled me over for? Suspicion? Well, I mean, we have a duty to... to no, no, what is the... If what? you want me to explain to I explain to you. But you, if you want to interrupt me, I can't explain Beat around the bush, but explain it to me. I get I'm not, it. I'm not going to beat around the Go bush. Go ahead. What is it? If we observe people around a bunch of different closed businesses in a short amount of time, we're going to stop and talk to them. Okay. I mean, and right now, there's a lot of closed businesses. You pulled me over. Now, what statute in Arkansas says that you have the right to pull someone over you see them around businesses? The loitering statute, for one. Well, How am I loitering? I pulled in, I pulled out. I checked my fuel and I move. Just, that was just here, though. What I pulled in, stopped at the other one and revved it up, and it was doing good, and I kept going. All right, what about over at Applebee's, over at at and Look in the back seat, I got Applebee's in the car. I went and picked up my food, man. Right. What about over there behind Hastings? None of your business, bro. It doesn't matter. I picked up my food, I checked my fuel pump, and I come home. If, if you own one of these closed businesses, wouldn't you want us to check in? No. I think what you're doing is violating my constitutional rights, man. Okay. I've done nothing wrong. Here I am surrounded by five cops with guns. They're, they're, look at them. There's whispering, nobody. talking with each other. My kid's in the car. There's nobody in here with guns. I don't trust any of you. Okay. And I want to go home. Okay. Now. Can you identify yourself? I'm not going to identify. I've done nothing wrong. Okay. I'll tell you my name's Luke. And that's all I got. Okay. I'd like to be on my way. Where's home? Does not matter. Is it in Fort Smith? Sir, I'd like to be on my way home so I can eat my food with my children on my birthday. Okay. How long are you going to hold me up now? Well, I mean, I'm just verifying what you told me. That's all I'm doing. I'm not telling you anything else. I don't answer questions without a lawyer present. Okay. Now, if you want to get my lawyer, Coy Rush, get him down here because I'm not answering anything else. I want to go home. I would have no way to contact yeah. him, so I can't do that. I want to go home. All I've right. done nothing wrong. You guys done bullying me and, and harassing and interrogating me? The only person that's upset here is you, sir. Because of you guys doing this to me. I've done nothing wrong. I'm sick of it. Okay. Twice a week this happens. Well, you're free to go. The officer calls him a sovereign citizen, but according to the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, Mr. Ashlock is fully exercising his legal rights. This right protects individuals from unreasonable searches and unnecessary threats from the police. While the term sovereign citizen can be misleading, Mr. Ashlock is simply exercising his rights and understanding the law. That's exactly why Mr. Ashlock was able to leave and avoid unnecessary police intervention. Don't forget to leave a five if you like this video. Why is it that every time a citizen or you know somebody get pulled over know their rights, right? Why is it every time when someone knows their rights, they got a call back up? Motherfucker, do your job. Why you can't do your job? Why, why you got to call three, two, three, four, five other people to help out just a simple situation? Like, they always want to make everything worse. Know your job, do your job. Hello? May I ask what you're doing? You can stop filming right now. We are not going to allow you to film us on state property. You can stop. I'm down here. <clears throat> We're all not on state property. Okay, is there a reason why you're filming the institution? Yes. Why? Because we want to. Because you want to? Mm-hmm. Were you authorized by the Department of Corrections? Don't need to be authorized. You're standing on state property no, right I'm not. now. You are. No, I'm not. Public easement. That's a See that road right there? This is a public easement. See those utilities right there? That's public. Beehive powers some of the world's largest and most influential paid newsletters. Here's why. Keep your own. You posted on that side. Is there a reason why you're filming? Because we want to. We're photographers. It's what we do. Okay. 
We have a public information officer that will allow you to film all you want. We don't need permission. You do. We don't need permission. Why the conflict? We just, no conflict. You came out to what us. What are you going to use the film for? For my personal use. Okay. You cannot film inmates without their permission. But I am. Do you have their permission? Don't need it. Do you have their permission? Don't need it. One of them. Don't need it. Do you have my permission? Don't need yours. You're, audio, you're being audio and video and if recorded. you're going to put that on any social media, audio you need my permission. Recorded. I do not. Absolutely not. And if you're audio recording, <laughs> that actually is against the law. No, it's not. <laughs> not as long as you're being told. Did you tell me? I did. And I'm not approving you to audio record me. Okay. I don't care about your approval. You guys have a nice day. There we go. Trying to, trying to Where call it back up. Here? Government vehicle. Sorry, Chris. Is, it, is this just a men's prison? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, the female prison is on the other side. I don't know what you guys are so upset about. It's just cameras. Rules and policies don't don't apply out here, though. Law applies out here, not rules and policies. Sorry. This is outside your jurisdiction out here. So that officer, the sergeant, went out on the radio and said, "This is not going well." And they're over there to talk. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But. One basic thing to remember is you cannot trespass the eyes. You know what that means? Whatever I can see from a public easement, I can film. So, sorry you're upset about it. Sorry you don't know what the law is, well, but. I have yeah, the responsibility to keep this place secure. Understood. We're not over there. Here, We're not over there. When we have people doing something that. I don't know what you're doing or why you're doing it. Well, I just told you what we're doing. I need to ask. Right on. I need to find out. You did say you didn't tell us who you are. Okay. You did tell us that we can't film. No. Yeah, actually, you did. You're still filming. Actually, but you came out and you said that at first. I asked you not to, and I asked you to step off our property. Well, I'm not on your property. I haven't stepped on your property. Fire hydrant, utility poles, not put in by the by the prison. I'm not out here to create conflict. Well, then why are you here? Because you could be filming to set up an escape from. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> How do you want okay. To did you tell the? Have did you tell that to the Google car when they drove by? I have. Did you tell that to the Google car when they drove by? Did you stop them and say, "Hey, you're planning an escape. Don't take pictures here." You didn't. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You guys have a nice day. <laughs> Not the sad music. <laughs> when talking about the right to take photos and videos in public places, we're referring to the right protected by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. This right allows us to record images and videos in public areas where anyone can access them. However, this right also has limitations, especially concerning security and privacy. When dealing with officials or law enforcement, it's important to understand that the right to record can be restricted in sensitive situations, such as when there is a risk to public safety or when recording might invade someone's privacy. Supreme Court rulings have indicated that recording public officials in public places is legal, but this right needs to be balanced with the need to ensure government security and safety. In in such situations, it's important to stay calm and communicate clearly with officers. Understanding the difference between public and private spaces, as well as specific regulations regarding recording rights, will help you protect your rights without infringing on the legal requirements of authorities. Balancing individual freedoms with maintaining security is crucial, and employing good communication strategies can help resolve conflicts effectively. I was eating my food and I'm using my cell phone. I'm a diabetic. I was working all day. I need a few minutes. And there's not a whole lot of other public places where I can sit in peace and do my medication without harassment. You are a public servant. Can you tell me the first five points of the First Amendment? Nope. So, sir, we're not gonna- Can you tell me the first five- You're good to head out once you're done eating. Can you tell me the first five points of the First Amendment?
In this situation, a man had just finished a long shift and was taking care of his health by eating and taking medication in a parking lot. Although he had done nothing wrong, two female officers approached him and acted as if he was committing a crime. Good, stay online with me. I'm being illegally detained. All I was doing was having dinner at the Cove, and now I've got two Weathersfield cops up my ass, and they won't answer my questions. <laughs> I got their floodlights on. They're trying to blind me. I know exactly where this is going. Hi, sir. Hello. My name's Officer Zadrazi from the Weathersfield Police Department. How are you tonight? Not too good. Not I'm being good. detained illegally. I said my Fourth Amendment, I explained what I was doing. I am eating and using my cell phone, and now I'm being detained illegally. What is your name and your badge number? Mine, Boris Savage 355. Say it again. Boris Savage 355. Boris Savage? Yep. 355. Yep. So the reason we're stepping out with you is because there's a town ordinance that the park closes at dark. So that goes for the Cove, Millwood. Really? Because until she pulled in here, there were at least a dozen cars here. And I said, stated, I was eating my food and I'm using my cell phone. I'm a diabetic. I was working all day. I need a few minutes. And there's not a whole lot of other public places where I can sit in peace and do my medication without harassment. Okay, so the reason why we do patrol checks we call them patrol checks we drive through the lot and clear everyone out we have to do that periodically take your light out of my camera what was that your flashlight out of my camera please okay I can thank you it down just i i want to see in the vehicle for my own safety you know? yeah well what about my safety you're safe right now no i'm not i've been being detained illegally oh, i asked whether or not i was being detained and you ignored me and walked away that is a violation of my constitutional rights. You just said I need to eat for a few minutes. I'm a diabetic. We we can work through that. Well, guess what? I told you exactly what I was doing. And I, I said. Didn't say, I didn't. I didn't say. You walked away right. from me, I said, and I asked, "Am I detained?" And you said something so of, of the affirmative. We're stepping, we're stepping out with you to talk to you to tell you that if you read the sign up there, it says that it's closed at dark. So if you want to finish up eating, but That's you ha okay. you have to head out. That's fine. Okay. But what I don't appreciate is being detained without due process. You are a public servant. Can you tell me the first five points of the First Amendment? Nope. So, sir, we're not gonna Can you tell me the so first five? You. You're good to head out once you're done eating. Can you tell me the first five points of the First Amendment? There's no reason we have to go back and forth with you. As long as you it's... understand that it's closed. We're going to come back in, a, okay. in about 20 minutes. This is a test to see whether or not right, you can honor your oath. <laughs> hey, and you failed miserably. Oh, another f***ing patrol car. <laughs> you want to engage too? Catch, a, catch another body. Get him. Look at this. Oh, 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 but I get kicked out, but these guys can come in. This is unbelievable. See this sh And you notice cop kryptonite surrounded by three Weathersfield cops. I told them exactly what I was doing. It was nothing nefarious, but she wouldn't give me her ID. She walked away. She wouldn't answer my questions now they're gonna follow me and they're gonna try and find a reason to pull me over yeah three cops and eating fucking dinner there were a dozen cars in here I asked them if they could tell me the first five the five points of the First Amendment and none of them could answer it this highlights the importance of police handling situations with sensitivity and respect for individual rights. For example, if you are a mother waiting for your child outside a grocery store at night, you have the right to stay in your car without being rudely interrogated. Police need to understand that not everyone has malicious intent, and approaching situations politely and clearly can help reduce tension and resolve issues more effectively. Everyone deserves to be treated with dignity, and waiting in a car is not a crime. When you encounter police, stay calm, ask for the reason for their approach, and record the conversation if needed. Respecting personal rights and understanding legal regulations can help you protect your rights legally without escalating the situation. Mm.
As you can tell, huh, without escalating the situation, huh? By GoDaddy Arrow. It uses the wish. Situation. Sir, I'm gonna place you into custody. If you, I'm gonna place you both into custody, if you don't. We didn't break any laws. What are you guys doing down here? We're filming For in what? public. It's our choice to film. Now I'm down it's here. I'm gonna ask you for right. your identification It's a First card. Amendment sir, right. I'm gonna give you go one more down. chance. It's our First Amendment right to sir, film in public. You, sir, I'm gonna take uh, you into custody. Excuse me. Whoa. In this intriguing situation. Two individuals were determined to record publicly, exercising their rights under the First Amendment until they encountered someone uncomfortable with their recording, which led to them calling these Ohio clowns to the scene. <laughs> A lawful order for what? Gentlemen, I need to see some ID. No, you don't. Sir, I need to see your... Gentlemen, I need to see your ID. For what? Because I got called down here, now I need to identify you. No, you don't. Yes, sir. What, what law did we break? Sir, it's called obstruction. I'm going to ask you. Obstruction of what? Of official business. What I'm official business? Thank you. I need to see your ID. I need to see. Gentlemen! There was no whoever's, obstruction. You guys are goofballs. Down, obstructed what? I need. What was obstructed? I need those two, sir. Sir, I'm telling you to stop. What? Sir, I'm gonna place you into custody. If you, I'm gonna place you both into custody, if you don't. We didn't your break any laws. What are you guys doing down here? We're filming For in what? public. It's our choice to film. Now I'm down it's here. I'm gonna ask you right. for your identification It's a First card. Amendment right. Sir, I'm gonna give you go one more chance. chance. It's our First Amendment right to sir, film in public. You, sir, I'm gonna take uh, you into custody. Excuse me, you're sir. The law right what the there. hell, sir? sir you're you breaking can... the law. This is bullshit. You're breaking take the law. Take my camera. One in custody. You're breaking That's the law, sir. Take, hey, you're breaking the law. That? You're, so, sir, you're illegally detaining him for no, no crime. No, I am not, sir. Have what no crime did he commit? Crime. We're in public filming. It's called the First Amendment. Sir, I'm going to place you into custody. No, I need to see your identification card. What? Put him down. Put what down? Put him down. I don't take okay. orders from you. Sir, you're going to take orders from me. Excuse me. Send Why me a would third I take unit, please. What authority do you have? This is this obstruction is really of official tight. business. What I'm official business? What cuffs. official business? Can you loosen I, this cup? Sir, I'll loosen him up pain. in a minute. Jesus Fine. Christ, you're well, pulling sir, on me. I business. need to see your identification I'm a card. Bitch, you're pulling on me. I don't have it on me. Put, put that down. What down? Oh, the fuck. camera. You're no, fine, sir. No, I'm not. Uh, my that's, wrist that's, is being cut, you stupid son of a... Stand still. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, man! Hold on. Oh. Excessive force. Oh, God. Oh, stop. Excessive You're doing force. it. Identifying him. Oh. Oh. Him in the yeah, 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 yeah. Don't oh. Jesus Lord fucking Christ. Christ. What the hell are you doing, man? Really Torturing me like that. I'm not on the hell you are. You're within six feet of me. Get away from me. Take him into custody if no, he's you not going to identify himself. You're getting sued, bro. You're getting sued, sir. Sir, give me your name. I ain't going nowhere. You don't have to drive. This should be a fat ass lawsuit. All right. You're going to lose your qualified immunity right now, both of you. What are you doing, man? Knock it off. Put your hand behind your head. Do not listen. I'm not resisting. You're fucking hurt by God. I have you in custody. You don't have to hold me like this. What crime did I commit? You son of a bitch. You don't have to hold me like this. You son of a bitch. Articulate a crime that I committed. You don't have to hold me like this. You son of a bitch. You don't have to hold me like this. Articulate a crime that I committed. Obstructing official business. What don't resist. What business? We didn't obstruct anything. I have an injured shoulder. I asked you guys to identify yourself. I have a what? We didn't commit okay, a crime. Well, you we don't have to identify yourself. I have a combat yourself. injury on my okay, shoulder. Damn it, you're f***ing me up. We didn't commit a crime. I have a claim with the yes, VA. Yes, you did. It's called obstruction. You are illegally detaining me. Both of you are breaking the law right now. We're going to stay here. Clay's taking me to into custody as well. It's hurting my shoulder. I have a VA disability. We have a first Who's member right this? to film in public. Who's in this? We'll loosen it when we get to the car. Calm down. What car? Are you going to kidnap us now? Really? Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah really. really. We didn't break, break any Can you loosen this wall. up on my wrist, sir? My left foot. Fucking tired. God damn it. Loosen it up. Down, down. Loosen it up. Loosen it up. I think they need some education. Some live action education. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Thank you.
We're gonna get a picture of him with his own camera. Awesome. Smile like for him. your camera. <laughs> I illegally arrested by a tyrant sergeant for filming in public here in Fremont, Ohio. Fremont, Ohio Police Department. Give him a call. Go live. I am live. Awesome. Hey guys, give the Fremont Police Department a call. That's Let them know that they're arresting people on public sidewalks for recording. That's and saying it's obstruction you. because they want to illegally detain us and take our IDs when we don't have to identify. Violation of the Fourth Amendment. Violation of the First Amendment. Yeah, I wonder how this is going to play out. Oh, getting unreleased. Hmm, how sweet. Any explanation? I know what the f is going on. We're free to go. My name's uh, Captain Conger. Captain, yep. guess what? I want um, sure. incident numbers. Yep, I, I want badge number. numbers for every piece of sh officer here. Okay. And I'm going to be getting all your body cams, all your dash cams, your f***ing everything don't about you. Don't cuss, please. Excuse me. Uh, Who's the complainant? Upset. You can't be the complainant. You want to go down that route? You're going to go after my First Amendment guys, violation you again? Are, you guys are free to go. I'm free to stay. Or free to stay. Yeah, so now okay. you guys kick right. rocks. All right. Video, wow! The officers not only acted unprofessionally, but also attempted to limit the individual's recording rights, even demanding ID without legal justification. This is why many citizens have lost respect for the police, with these officers even using excessive force against innocent people. This Blue Lives Matter gang needs to be fired immediately. Yep, both of them. The tyrant cop and the young guy. He, he needs to be fired immediately, immediately, immediately. And he can't get another job in the police force ever again. That is crazy. I was uh watching I was watching one video that I'm gonna eventually uh upload, but you know, the cop same thing, you know, try to arrest a guy that was sitting in his car that wasn't doing nothing wrong, wasn't breaking any law. And you know they you know how they you know how it goes, they going back and forth and the police officer ended up calling an attorney on his phone. Or I think he ended up calling him on a walkie talkie one or two. He ended up calling a, a, a attorney and everything the attorney was telling the officer was the same thing that the that the guy they was trying to arrest. They was the literally attorney was on the guy they were trying to arrest was on his side. It was telling he like he was like he's like he's not doing anything wrong. Blase 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 woo woo woo. And they still he still try to find a way to you know arrest. He's like you know what? I'm just going to follow him home until I get a traffic stop. The man on the phone is literally telling you that the guy ain't do nothing wrong and now you want to follow him all the way home until you get a traffic stop. Oh my God, you, you guys are that bored and petty. Holy. You. Why do these people, why do these cops make the job worse? Y'all got some, y'all got literally one of the easiest jobs and y'all want to make it worse for y'all self because y'all want to. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I'm going to y'all catch y'all in the next one.